In this video, you're going to learn how to track website interactions as events using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to measure interactions into Google Analytics without the need for a complicated configuration. We're going to do this with some free open source code that allows you to track a whole range of different interactions occurring on your website. It's called Kamito Analytics. Before we get started, I want to highlight there are different ways that you can configure event tracking with Google Tag Manager. A common approach is to use triggers inside Tag Manager to fire events when particular interactions occur. For example, you could create a trigger for outbound links and another trigger for file downloads. But I want to show you how you can get started without needing any special configurations. So what can we track using Kamito Analytics? The script gives you the options to track a whole range of interactions automatically. These include downloads, outbound links, people watching embedded videos on your website, forms, mail to links, social widgets on your website, and even scroll depth. To track all of these different interactions as events, we just need to head to Kamito Analytics and get the code. Here we can see the code that we need to include inside Google Tag Manager to measure all of these interactions. So I'm going to copy the script and configuration code. And now I'm going to head to Google Tag Manager and paste the code into a new tag. I click on Add a new tag and name the tag Kamito Analytics. Now I can click on Tag Configuration and select Custom HTML. I can now paste the script and configuration code into the Custom HTML tag. You'll see in the configuration there are a whole range of different interactions that can be tracked automatically. By default, we'll be tracking all of these interactions as events into Google Analytics. If there is an interaction that you don't want to track, or that you already have tracked using another method, you can disable it by changing the 1 to a 0. For example, if you didn't want to track people printing your pages, then we can set the 1 to a 0 and it won't be tracked into Google Analytics. Or if you're already tracking social widgets embedded on your website, then you can set that to 0 too. Now we need to decide where we want to trigger Kamito Analytics. For my website, I want to track custom interactions as events on all of my pages. To do this, I click on Triggering and select the default All Pages Trigger, which will mean I'll be tracking events on all the pages that have my Google Tag Manager code installed. Now I can click on Save. If you're just getting started with Google Tag Manager, you'll also need to make sure that you have another tag for Google Analytics. Otherwise, Kamito Analytics won't have anywhere to send our data. I can see I already have Google Analytics, so I can publish the new tag to my website. From here, I can head to a page on my website to see the automatic event tracking in action. Here I can see I have a video embedded on a page along with an outbound link and a download. I can click each of these elements. Now I can head to the real-time reports inside Google Analytics to see the events coming through. You'll find them reported under Real-Time and Events. So as we've seen, Kamito Analytics is a great, easy way to track events using Google Tag Manager. It's flexible and amazingly quick to get started. You'll be up and running in minutes. So that's how you can track events using Google Tag Manager. Tell me how you're using event tracking. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below. And if you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.